Hey guys, GreatGamer34 here. Today, you may see I'm not on the OR server anymore. Well, I still am, but I'm not on it right now. This is actually Stim's Redstone server, and Stim's is not like OR, and it's not in a bad way that it's not like OR. Um, see, as in OR, we focus on computers and computer engineering. Stim's focuses mainly on games, mini games and such, even though I built like a CPU for my trial. And this is the exact CPU that I made for my trial that can run through a couple of lines of code. Um, I built tic-tac-toe here. Now, oh great, tic-tac-toe, that's nothing special. Well, this one is a little bit special. This one is A, my tiniest and fastest tic-tac-toe that I have made. B, it has wind detection. C, it is turn-based. And D, which is one of the most important features, it has an AI. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. So, let's turn AI on. And you'll see nothing fancy happens. Nothing over here happens. When we turn AI on, we can only use the X side because the computer is going to be O. So, let's go here. X goes there. Where's O? O went there. Oh, went there. Oh, and I have to counterattack X. And X can in turn go there. So, not the best AI, but not half bad for being complete crap. And the reason I say that is you will see. But it, this is the winner up here, X clearly indicated by the full rows. So let's go ahead and turn AI off and res reset. Um, but let's do player versus player. So I will play as both players and X will go here. And I want O to win this time, so... Just because I want to demonstrate. What it can do. Or just the different ways it displays. So O1, and it displays O as a winner. Now basically how I did win detection is it's a decoder for X and it's a decoder for O. And the decoder basically says there's eight different possible ways to win. Or, yeah, eight. This way, across horizontally across all pixels. So this way, this way, and this way. Vertically across pixels, which is this way, this way, and this way. So that's six. Plus you have two diagonals that you can do for a total of eight. So it basically does an AND gate between all those. Now, this is turn based. So basically, it's reset. Oh, and I never showed you this feature right here. When X goes, it makes it so now O lights up over there, and X cannot enter any other value. It can't. It can't go again. It's already went. Also, we can. It's the same like that on the O side. As soon as O goes, it lights up X. It makes it do this. But now, cells can't override. Now, a penalty in this is if you try to override a cell like that, you lose your turn. You cannot go over where somebody else has already went. So you've lost your turn. And then, you know, you can proceed to get your butt kicked. Like so. Um, so that's pretty fancy. So, how does this work? Well, basically our inputs are bussed directly to where they correspond to that pixel on the screen for the X. Now there's also an AND gate here that allows them to go through and there's an OR gate before the AND which then says which ones are triggered. The OR gate before the AND gate um, basically controls the, the turn-basedness of the game. So there's a little RS NOR latch built in right here. Um, it's hard to see but there's here's the RS NOR. Um, and that's controls who goes first and it also controls the display right here um, and that's also hooked up the same over here now it goes through and we'll go on this side this comes through this way and the inputs get bussed to these these cells now we'll just refer to something that can display both X and O as a cell now this cell has two memory units on it another two RS and OR latches basically what happens is if I do this right here, watch watch carefully to this repeater and everything right there. So I'm just going to try to 
it powers this repeater right here because it turns this off, turning this one on, powering this repeater. And it doesn't allow writing to the cell again, so I cannot go ahead and try to me write memory right here. It just won't allow it to go through. So there's an AND gate in each cell, so it can only be written to once. Now there's so much room here that I was actually able to bus the output of the memory he to here for the X. So this is the output of the X side, and over here is the output of the O side right here by these six, uh, these nine lines coming across. Now, we also have the input for the O from the AI, which is built in right here. And how the AI works is it says, oh, if X went here, X if X goes in the top right corner over here, then that's going to make O go to the middle, to the center, the most center one. So that's how the AI works. Now that's kind of cheap and that's why I don't like it and that's why the AI can be stupid and not be go sometimes. Needless to say, that's how the AI works and it could always be done better. But there's that. Now the decoder on this is way better than my last one for the wind detection. Um, basically it decodes vertically right here. Um, you'll see an inverted right there, inverted there, inverted here, and they OR together right here. So that means if all three of these lines are on right here, that means somebody won. Boy. That means somebody won. And if you win, that turns this on, and then that, this corresponds to, say, uh, shoot. That corresponds to X winning. But yeah, so it just uses a decoder. And that's basically the entire tic tac toe. Um, you also have the user inputs bust here and then yeah so that's about it and i guess i'm going to show new master so i'm off subscribe see you guys next time